to another video. So we're going to be discussing how you can get better at Call of Duty Mobile with maybe five tips. First tip, make sure you have a HUD that's comfortable to you. So while you might have a two finger HUD, a, a two finger HUD is really not recommended because you're not going to be able to do things that you would normally be able to do if you had four finger. So four finger, which is what I have. The aim button's right here, shooting button's right here. I just messed up my shooting button actually. Uh, and the aim button's right here. It's really easy for me to maneuver because I can slide like this and prone and I can move around. The movement's way easier on four finger or even three finger, which is what some of my friends use. But two finger, you're not gonna be able to do anything that you would normally be able to do. I've done two finger, you can't maneuver as bad, as good as a four finger. So you really wanna make the switch to four finger. And it works on, this is my HUD for phone. So if anybody wants to like use it as a reference, uh, there's my maps up top. It's like this, really easy to use, honestly. And it's not terribly hard. Uh, but what you wanna focus on is something that's gonna work for you. And you wanna to stick to that because I know that it's gonna feel very uncomfortable at first because that's on me. And you don't wanna to switch too much. Stick to something and learn it. And now for my, for this, you wanna make sure you have things that kind of work for you. See, I have tap and hold the ADS rather than tap the ADS. You know, tap the ADS is tap in once and you're ADSing, tap again, now you're not ADSing. This is easier for four finger because you can just tap and hold. It's easier than tapping, at least for me. But I see a lot of four finger users, four finger users using tap the ADS because they think it's easier. I believe this is easier for me. But just find something comfortable for you. You want to make sure you're always sprint because if you're playing S&D, you want to make sure you can you have dead silence and you walk. So that's always better. Uh, gyroscope, I do not have gyroscope on. So, because I don't believe it's too smart. Uh, for me at least. You want to make sure your camera is correct because I tried playing with it lower, but lower is not good for me. And I have this thing off because I like to have it on my own prone button rather than holding the slide button. Graphic quality and frame rate, you wanna make sure there's a low, especially if you if you have low end devices and if you have a bad connection. So make sure that's low. Also your frame rate is the only thing that I would recommend you turn higher up because it's really hard if your graphics quality is high because you'll start lagging a ton. Your frame rate, however, if you have it high, then it's way better. Like you turn it higher, it'll be a ton better for you. But honestly, I can't because my device isn't too good. It's an Android, and Androids aren't normally that great at it. Your audio, you want to make sure if you're using a mic, you want to turn down your voice chat volume so you can actually hear when your teammates have very loud backgrounds. So I've noticed that like turning it down, you could just either mute them or you could turn down your volume. You can still hear them if they're talking, but now you can actually hear the game. Effects, I feel like these don't really matter too much. These are just kind of cool perks that you can do. I have this because blue's in a very pretty nice color. Sensitivity, this is very important. So I see a lot of people have speed acceleration, like people who use phone, iPad, doesn't matter. Speed acceleration is a um, popular one. I use fixed speed. I don't know why, it just feels easier. Sensitivity switch, you wanna make sure that this is this is good. Uh, Cause when you're changing, cause it changes from firing sensitivity, or no, ADS sensitivity is standard, from standard sensitivity. And those two might be pretty high compared to the other, so. Standard might be like 200, while ADS is like 100. It really changes. Camera sensitivity. So you want to make sure this is comfortable for you. Like, it can change at one point, but it really does not matter. It's going to change. It's going to work once you get used to it. It just happens. Firing sensitivity, same exact thing. You really want to get used to it. You can't really change it too much. Changing it will really, really cause you to just be terrible at the game. You won't feel it comfortable at all if you just keep changing. But if you just stick to one, it's going to be uncomfortable at first, I know. But you will indeed get better. I don't really have any other tips for any of these. Because I feel like these are not really... I don't really pay BR, so I don't really have any tips. You also want to make sure you have a gun that's going to suit you and your playing style. Especially builds. Because uh, right here, this is a common build for the AS Val. And I feel it's pretty nice to my playing style. But you really just want to make sure that it's good enough to your playing style. You know? Uh, 
Same with all of these. I really like them because they really go to the playing style. But, you know, well, I guess I'm going to leave you off on that. See you guys in another video. It's been pretty nice. And I hope this helped out.